So we've done one electron configuration for nitrogen. Now we're gonna try and do the same thing for sodium. So we have to find sodium on our periodic table. Sodium is over here, number 11 on the periodic table. So we need to buy tickets this time for, we need 11 seats. Sodium has 11 electrons. And the good news about electron configurations and the whole ticket master analogy is that whoever needs seats, they're always the first caller. They always get dibs on the best seats in the house. So what that means is the pattern is going to look very similar to nitrogen. It's just that we have to go a little bit further in our, um, in our electron configuration. Rather than stopping at seat number seven, we're gonna stop at seat number 11 this time. So, uh, sodium, lucky you, first caller, where would you like to sit? Well, I'd like to sit in the first row. Do you have any seats available in the first row? We do. Well, where are they located? They're in our S section of seats because they're colored pink. How many seats do you have available in the first row in the S section? Well, we have two seats available, right? The hydrogen seat and the helium seat. We filled up the first row. Now we have to go to row two and we're gonna fill in order of atomic number. So the next seats we're gonna fill are numbers three and four where lithium and beryllium are on your periodic table. So they're colored pink, they're in the S section. We're gonna fill that guy up. Next up, we're gonna stay in row two, but move over to the P section of seats, that yellow section, and fill up seats numbers five through 10, boron through neon. And so we're gonna need all six of those two P seats. And then if we're going all the way to sodium, number 11, we would end in the third energy level, the S section of seats. We're just gonna need one seat in that third energy level. Let's try one more. What if we're trying to get all the way to iron? So iron is right smack in the middle of your periodic table. Number 26. When we do iron's electron configuration, once again, we're gonna start at seat number one and go all the way to seat number 26. So lucky you, Mr. or Mrs. Iron, you're our first caller, where do you wanna sit? Well, I'd like to sit in the first row. Those are the S section of seats. There's only two seats available. Then we go to the second row, the S section of seats, and we take both seats numbers three and four. Now we need to fill up seats numbers five through 10. So they're in the second row, but the P section of seats, we need all six. Now the second row is full, we have to go to row three and fill up seats numbers 11 and 12. Now seats 13 through 18, so they're in the third row still, but the P section, we're gonna need all six. Next up, the third row there between 11 and 18 is full, so we have to go down to row four that's the S section, it's pink. We need seats 19 and 20. And then to get to iron, to get to seat number 26, do you see how um, it's the D section? We have, um, but there's a three there in front of the Ds, three D, and then to get to iron, I would need one, two, three, four, five, six seats to get to iron, 3D6. 
Now you might be wondering what the heck happened with the numbering there. The It was going in logical energy level number, one, then two, then three, then four, but then we went backwards. We went back to three. Um, it has to do with how um, the kind of clouds overlap a little bit there. And that overlapping, it's almost like stadium seating in, in, uh, in our Ticketmaster analogy there, where it overlaps a little bit. Um, so the 4S energy level, those electrons prefer the lowest energy orbital first. That's what the Aufbau principle says. So they say, oh, there's S clouds available for me to go into. Um, even though they're in the fourth energy level, I'm going to prefer to fill S's that are open and ready um, rather than going into a D, which is a higher energy orbital. So even though the, the energy level numbers are a little bit goofed up there, um, as long as you just know to fill in order of atomic number, don't let it bother you that the energy level numbers get a little bit goofed up there. Uh, if you did have to do something like gallium, like if we kept going all the way here to gallium, it would end with 3D10, and then the numbering goes back to normal when you get over to that P section. So it would end with 4P1.